tutorial we will look into how to do development with Eclipse. First go to your Eclipse directory and invoke the executable of the Eclipse. Once you do that you are presented with a Eclipse workshop launcher. In this screen you can define where your workspace should be. The workspace is basically the place where all your projects go and sit. So once you say OK the Eclipse will come up. Eclipse is set to be an integrated development environment because one tool will provide you the interface to all your development needs. For example, it will provide you to interact with a source code management system or from the Eclipse itself you can run your servers, start and stop them. So now let's come and make a project. So let's say it is a Java project and we give it a name. So let's say first project. It is using the default GRE 1.6. Let's take all the defaults and say finish. So once it is finished, you see the project appears here. Let's also understand the concept of perspective and views as used in Eclipse. Perspective is basically a collection of views which makes sense for the kind of work that you are doing at that point of time. For example, right now we are in Java perspective. So in this you will see the views that are making sense for the Java development. We can go and change the perspective let's say when we want to connect to our SVN repository. So in that case the screens changes, the views changes and now you can see the views uh, which make sense for the SVN in interaction. So let's at the moment come back to our Java. Also you can change the views and clips will remember them. So we see this project in the navigator view which is similar to the file structure. So we come here and let's make a class. Let's say hello world and let's say we generate want to generate the main method in it. We finish it and you see the class file with all the boilerplate code is generated. You can handle the properties of the project by going into the properties dialog so for that you have to select at the project and then select properties so here you can control your build paths you can control which your libraries needs to be in your build path so now let's introduce a variable in it now Eclipse provides you other capabilities like source code generation and things like that. The basic idea is that you can always invoke your third mouse click and you will present it with a menu. You might want like to spend some time with this menu to get comfortable with the kind of things that Eclipse pro provides. For example, uh, Eclipse provides a lot of things for source code generation. For example, let's say in this case we want to generate the getter and setter for message. So we say OK and you see the getters and setters are generated automatically. Similarly, there are capabilities for refactoring to find out where the file is located and things like that. So once this getter and setter is done, let's see how is Eclipse handles some of the compile issues. So let's say we introduce a compile error and save it. So the moment you say this, a red mark comes up here. And if you click on that, it will say, it will basically tell you that what you can do to solve that compile error. So we go and solve this error. So now let's So this we write in your program so that it will write a hello world. Let's also see how we can resolve the imports. Let's say we say date, date is equal to new date. So that we can introduce the date also. So now you see again there is a red here. Okay, so it says date can resolve to a type. So for solving that you can click control shift O and it will come up with the import possibilities. So correct the right one and there you got all the import results. 
now to run the program there are, you can go to the run menu and say run and then select that you want to run it as a Java application and say OK so you see here the program runs now there are also menus in the toolbar which can be used so again you can run from here the effect is the same now let's see how we can debug the program so let's put a breakpoint here so when you double click here you will see a blue dot coming up here which means is that now it is in debug mode now you can either invoke it from here or you can go and invoke it from here let's now run it so it will now ask you to open the debugging perspective so you say yes now you see that in this perspective you have variables breakpoints so the views that make sense to the debugging appear now and the breakpoint has been invoked the program comes and runs here now to ra go further into the program there are different possibilities that exist so let's right now say that we want to just resume it and the program runs okay so let's again run the debugging mode and just step over it you see the value of date and everything does appear here so this is a brief introduction on the way of using Eclipse.